Welcome back to Let's Play Jack 2 Renegade for HD Collection. Although it's just basically Jack 2, so I don't know why I keep saying Renegade. Do that anyway. Actually, I, I accidentally started doing a little bit of this mission and didn't save. I mean, I didn't complete the mission, but I started it without saving, so I died and went back, and there was an orb right in that corner over there. I think I did the next, um, metalhead eggs on the wall, shot them up a little bit, kind of thing. So you're gonna have to, uh, forgive me for that. I'm gonna try my best not to have that happen in the future. No, no! You son of a bitch. That thing goes all out. It's like major crotch thrust whenever it comes out at you. No, no, oh. Oh no. Oh wow, that is a big ass drill down there. Really? Oh man, all the way back here. Great. Great. Exactly what I want to do. I want to start all the freaking way back at the beginning of the level. You know, everyone says this game is so hard. Okay, apparently just jumping on doesn't make you go down. You gotta jump off it and then get on it. Cool. That, that's useful information to know for later missions, I guess. Saying is the deaths have finally started to come in, and uh, they will probably continue. Uh, forgot to now my badass Dark Jack kill of all these metalheads right here just went to nothing. That sucks. I don't feel like wasting Dark Jack on these things again. Let's get over here. Ah, oh, you could choose a little. What you call the switches? That's that's also very nice. Switch far away. Shoot this son of a bitch. You know what's cool about Jack Two, but not about Jack Three? The shotgun, the red gun, the, just the oh my god. Of course, of freaking course. I think this is the part where I started to lose my patience and just kind of ran through it. Yeah, this this would be it. I um, am not a very patient person. I don't have to be. But uh, I will sit there for hours until I get something done right. I just might not be too patient. A little snappy while I'm doing it. Oh, I could see this game being hell. Oh, wow. I like how you just like, smacked the wall and started sliding. It's very nice indeed. They should have incorporated that into other games. Naughty Dog is just incredible in general. When all kinds of other games were coming out, these games actually stuck out and got made something. Of course. I mean, it is kind of like a sci-fi Grand Theft Auto, but I said that already. A cool thing about this game, that not about Jack 3, now that we're back here, I guess, reminds me of it. I get a photographic memory. Useful and not useful at the same time. Mostly useful, though. Uh, the ray gun is actually useful on this game. The shotgun version of it, anyway. Which is the only version you get on Jack 2, unfortunately. They don't have many of the upgraded weapons that they do on Part 3. I really like the RPG cannon on Part 3 that comes out for this. Um, I think it was this turret I actually... Wow. Thank you. Thank you. One metal hit. Yeah, zero. This, I actually did this. There were eggs here, over right there, on that wall behind where the metalheads were. That There were eggs right there, which I broke a whole hole into. Can I shoot that guy in there? Shield? No, apparently not. What a shame. What a shame. If they would quit flying around the screen, just stay in front of the cannon so I can finish killing them, this would go along so much easier. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I don't even need to be doing this, I guess. We'll stop. Y'all know what's going on now. Oh, hello. Back down. Oh, that's not good. Gotta kill him. Yeah. Most people just stick with the yellow gun almost through this entire game. Until you get the last weapon. Which, for spoiler sakes, I won't do that. I mean, I don't know who doesn't know. If you're watching this Let's Play, you have to have played this game before, or at least this series in general before. So you must know what the last weapon is for the mod gun. But, uh, 
Most people just use the yellow gun until they get that one, and then that one isn't even used that much. So yellow gun's basically like a primary weapon. And it, it's accurate, it shoots fast, you know, like you see. I mean, the red gun's much better to use for these... whatever they are. What creature conceived these things? They have rotating saws around their body. That must have been hell to give birth to, don't you think? Not, not, no, I'm thinking about it, I mean, the things I'm shooting right here are robotic. And yet they are supposedly biologically metalheads. What the hell? Is there like a queen metalhead or something that gives birth to all this? She must have a very rich history of husbands. Very, very rich. Don't want to accidentally shoot the eggs and just have one left and can't find it like earlier. That would just not be healthy whatsoever. Ah, look. What is this? The crane. Oh. Oh. Well. A pathway. How nice. How useful. Apparently they didn't like the part the crane blew up with their eggs on it. You know, now that I think about it, I think Vin said earlier that these eggs totally suck up power, so I guess they are supposed to be planted on metal. You know, there's a lot of history missing between Jack 1 and Jack 2. When when the hell did the metalheads start to get into here? Because before the metalheads, it was totally lurkers that were having given Jack and Daxter problems. The lurkers were like the main enemies in the last game. Nineteen orbs. By the way, I'm I'm probably not I'm not gonna buy any cheats, any in-game cheats for the duration of this let's play. I'm not cheap. I, I can't play through a game with cheats. I mean I think they have viable upgrades like increased ammo or damage on some of the weapons. I might get some of those, but eh, I'll see. All depends, really. Having an extremely complicated time on a mission might get damage upgrade or more ammo or something. If you can't make more damage, more ammo should fill it up. Sh should adjust for the lack of damage. I don't know. I'm one of those people, whenever I pick up a 200 bullet clip gun, all 200 bullets are going into someone un until I see them hit the floor. They're not dead to me. I will put as many bullets as I need to into a person until they die. No, okay, well, you try to minimize it to 30 bullets a person, if if that, sometimes. No, I'll waste the airstrike on one man if I have to, which my friends dislike heavily when I play Battlefield with them. Playing in the jet, they're like, hey, can, can you get that tank? It's like, oh, just used up my rocket pods on the sniper. That's not even going to affect you, I know. Hey, Sugar Plum, you know here? Well, what you got that's, uh, hot and... Wait, I've seen you before. You're with the underground. Shh, I'm Tess. Torn sent me to spy on Crew. Play along, and I may be able to get my hands on a few of Crew's secrets. Ooh, I love undercover work, baby. But, uh, two can work better than one. Let me help you out. <laughs> wow, there sure are a lot of bottles back here. <laughs> Woo! Ooh, that's... Ooh, that that gold flow. Oh, that's gold schlager. Uh oh. Jack, that's the stuff. I need you Fire. and that talking rat to go around and make a few connections for me. Hey there, Fire Jin. How's crimes? What's his problem, eh? <laughs> Nothing. I'm just fine. Mind your own business. I sometimes feel so very. Listen. Six clients around town are about to make money pops for me. I need you to collect each money back as fast as you can. And take care of any guards who get curious. Mm. Get the money back too late. Can Feeling so dry! You know what's the trouble with you? Well, this tunnel isn't. This place could be a real swinging 
Lord, I beg heaven with more dancing, more macking, more women. Jack knows what I'm talking about. Just carry fourteen money bags Jack. before they disappear you know and bring them back here. If you lose what? even one I bag, love you, then man. do come back, eh? <laughs> You know, the sad thing is, is if you're drinking Goldschlager, you can't get drunk that fast, but you can get drunk in 20 minutes flat. It doesn't matter what your alcohol tolerance is, how long you've been drinking, which, oh my god, I can't tell you how many rednecks down here have issues with believing that one. Uh, when I was 13, I was, been, I was drinking 12 cases of beer when I was younger. I don't know. Bitch, you just said when you were 13, and I didn't think you was younger anyway. Whoa, whatever. But uh, what happens is in Goldschlager, oh, I need a zoomer. I really need a zoomer. All right. Oh, son of a bitch. Let's see if I can get another zoomer right after this money bag's collected. All right, 30 seconds. It doesn't seem that far away. Zoom where you're mine. But yeah, Goldschlager. It's like, oh, uh, actually, my friend bought one, a bottle the other day. You know, I think it was Albertsons. I don't know if they have an Albertsons anywhere but Louisiana, honestly. But um, they have little gold flakes in it, little paper thin gold flakes. And whenever you drink it. The little paper thin gold flakes make little paper thin cuts in your throat. You can't feel it and the tissue in your throat heals up within minutes, if not faster. So there's really no harm being done to you besides for the part that the alcohol is going straight into your bloodstream. Which means it doesn't matter who the hell you are, how much your body breaks down alcohol, you're going to get fucked up. And in 20 minutes flat, if you drink another shot after that shot, in the next two, three minutes, while those cuts are still active, um, are still open a little, it's going, that's going straight into your bloodstream too, so you're gonna get messed up. It doesn't matter who you are. Just pretty cool. But they still have those rare people who just can drink it forever, and it's like they do it naturally, like they, they need this to live or something. Ah. You know, I wonder if people would get to notice that, like, hey, look, a huge-ass bag in Mule's Tree. I'm just going to leave that alone, which I guess most people would do, but don't you think a Crimson Gar walk by it? What the fuck is this? I'm going to get nosy. I guess that's why Crew wants us to pick it up fast. And where are we going? We're going pretty far away from uh, Crew himself. I don't know. I think we're going back to the port area. Are we? Yeah, that's totally the port. Losing my, uh... What you call it? Sense of direction. One more money bag. If I would lose right now, I would be so angry. Like, in Jack 3, I did some Save the Wastelanders mission, and... Bring the money back. At the very last checkpoint, two or three times, I just missed it off by a second, which I can't tell you how much infuriated me. Quite the money connected, eh? Here's a gun up there. Don't get out! Trust me, brother. There aren't enough hours in the day. I like how Crew just doesn't try and fight with Daxter anymore. <laughs> just gets angry. Oh, scattergun rate of fire increase. That is also a very nice upgrade. Well, uh, that's about the end of this part. So thank you guys for watching. See you next part. See you later. Bye.